project Dance to Express has been a true and um, intense journey. Um, we navigated through the principles and methodologies of dance movement therapy, improvisation and dancibility um, with the face-to-face -face training and the online training. And now we're at the stage where all the participants are applying their knowledge and what stuck with them and what the, they managed to embody with children with uh, special needs and fewer opportunities. During uh, this uh, practical part of uh, this project, uh, um, what uh, what I really appreciate more is how, uh, in the end of the sessions, the kids can uh, express themselves, uh, how they manifest happiness. Uh, their calm, their their relationship between each other, uh, how how they are in the beginning in the sessions, and the difference how they they manifest at the end. Um, there were moments um, where I felt that uh, uh, I was connected with some of them through the movement and uh, that uh, is magical uh, uh, to see uh, their their evolution and uh, how they 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 can connect with me and with each other For me it's a surprise because I don't think they will participate that much and um, they enjoy, every, enjoy and yeah, they try the movements, they are trying, they are, they are expressing their, their bodies. Uh, we were talking about the, the way that we have to do the instruction because that was uh, a difficult, uh, that personally I, I felt more. Uh, we have to be very direct in explanation the exercise because otherwise they will just uh, start talking with each other. We have to be direct so they understand the goal of the activity and then when we end the activity we can reflect and talk with each other about what uh, they were feeling. Yes, but we still need the um, break uh, walls uh, for stereotypes. Yes, and, and there's no right, no wrongs, because yeah, sometimes we like we uh, exemplify with some movements, and they look at us like, "What are you doing? That's maybe that's ridiculous." But uh, you know, we have to break those walls so they can try themselves to express, to do these movements, because there are no rights, no wrongs. They can do whatever they want. We can do whatever we want. And it's I don't I don't know it's funny and, to see them trying. And then they can find uh, more about themselves and uh, yes. discover what I can do, uh, what I can do with the other. Yes, yes, 
what I can do with my body, what I can do with the body of the others, you know, this, all these relationships. Yeah. <laughs> because they can express with words and uh, we can create connection with uh, that type of interaction. So it's uh, a good tool, it's very good for them. In the improvisation too? And the improvisation, yes. Even if they come and go and they they stay with us just a little bit of time. It's quite interesting. When there's something that uh, interests them, they come mm -hmm. and then they go. And and the then time they come. <laughs> and, uh, watching um, them apply their, their knowledge, watching their relationships that have been built, um, watching them transfer what um, they lived through, what they experienced, what they embodied. Um, we have seen some changes in some of the participants, um, not just the educators, but as well as the children that have been trying or that have been working uh, with them. And overall, it has been a very uh, gratifying and um, great experience. We hope to transfer, disseminate uh, this project uh, in our city and maybe to, to other schools, to, to other groups, so that everybody can try the benefits of dance and therapy and improvisation. <laughs>